Long before the age of technology, there was only raw electricity. It moved freely with no rules to hold it back. Then came a way to control that flow of energy. The resistor. In the early 1800s, electricity was still a mystery. Scientists built crude batteries from metal and acid. They stuck sparks. They lit faint glows. But it lasted only for seconds. There was no way to guide the current. Electricity came and went as it pleased. It was powerful but unpredictable. It was a wild force. Then came George Simon Ohm, a German scientist who wanted order in this chaos. In 1827, he wrote down a rule. V equal to I into R. Voltage equals current multiplied by resistance. That simple rule became Ohm's law. With this one law, electricity changed forever. It was no longer a mystery. It could be predicted and it could be controlled. By the mid-1800s, wires stretched across nations. Telegraph carried messages further than even before. But another problem appeared. Too much current burned the wires. Signals became weak or broken. At first, engineers used thin long wires to slow the current. It worked, but it was heavy, wasteful and costly. A better way was needed. In the 1850s, engineers created a new part. A simple coil of fine wire wound on a rod. It slowed the current deliberately. It resisted electricity in a measured way. This was the first resistor. A small part, yet it changed everything. For the first time, electricity could be shaped. It could be measured. The wild force was tamed. As the 1800s ended, electricity spread everywhere. From telegraphs to electric lights, from motors to early experiments in sound. And resistor became part of every design. They limit the current. They protected fragile parts. They allowed new machines to work safely. The 20th century brought a new world. Telegraphs gave way to telephones. Telephones gave way to radio. Radios gave way to computers, and resistors evolved with them. The old coil of wires were bulky, so engineers created carbon composition resistors around 1910s. Small cylinders of carbon powder and clay, reliable, cheap, and easy to make. By the 1930s and 40s came carbon film and metal film resistors. Thin layers of material deposited on a rod, accurate, stable, and precise. Step by step, resistors became smaller, more powerful, more reliable. By the late 1900s, resistors have become essential. They were in radios, televisions, calculator and computers. Surface mount technology shrank them further. Tiny black chips, smaller than a grain of rice, took the place of old carbon cylinder. Today, resistors are everywhere, on every circuit board, in every electronic device you see. Small parts, yet they guide the flow of electricity. They set voltages. They limit current. They protect LEDs, transistors and microchips. Without resistors, circuit would fail instantly. In the beginning, electricity was wild. Then, Ohm gave it a rule. Engineers built the first resistor. Century by century, they evolved. From coils, to carbons, to films, to chips. Tiny pieces, yet the heartbeat of modern technology. The story of resistor is the story of control. It is the story of how we shape electricity and how electricity shaped us. And this is where our journey begins. <laughs>